Hey yo guys, in this video I'm gonna show you the easiest way how to make an intro video. So make sure you don't skip because I will show you step by step on how to do it. Ice King Just open your Kini Master up to 16 by 9 ratio and then put in the black background. Next, we'll put the opening overlay and right after it you can put your logo. And just select the animation. For this, I will use pop animation. And now to add some more effects, I will be putting speed trace from overlays. By the way, you can find these overlays from the overlay section and just click the market icon and basically you can download everything from there. So next step, we will be putting our channel name. For me, I'll place it under my logo. And next will be the animation. So for this, I will be using the slide right. And to balance it, I will be using slide left or the other one and of course we must not forget the overlays specifically the speed trace overlay I will be rotating the overlay so that it will fit in the animation so just adjust the speed trace overlay to make it fit to the movements of the text you can also adjust the speed of the animation according to the music. So after that, don't forget to take a look back of your work every now and then. Just to make sure that everything fits accordingly. By the way, if you want free music beats or cool background music for your videos, just check out the link in the description down below. So now I'm just finishing some final touches. As you can see, I am adjusting the duration of each slide so that they will all end at the same time. And just a little review, just to make sure that they end at the same time. So after that, I will be using emojis for more touches. I can't really find the trident in the stickers, so I use the emojis. I will be putting on both sides. And I will use the pop animation. And to make it look better, we will add overlays. I will be using this type of overlay so that it will look like that it popped. I will be applying it to both tridents. And make sure to set the speed trace at the center of the trident. After that, we can add a little more effect. Still from the overlay section, which you can find at the market icon. And again, we must adjust the durations of each slide to make sure that they end all together at the same time. After adjusting, we can put some more effects. In mine, I will put some mysterious fog. After all animations and overlays are done, now we can proceed to the sound effects and background music. So in the first part, I will be using some dramatic sound effects. It is very important to add some sound effects to every movement and every animation. No, so as they say, timing is everything. So we must make sure that all of the movements and animations sync to the sound effects. And I have a bonus. So if you are using the same application and 
and you are having trouble with the watermarks, I have made a video tutorial on how to install this application without a watermark. Just check the link in the description. So what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting all of the animations and overlays so that it will be synchronized to the music or to the sound effects. So for the next part, we will be inserting the text, which is the like and subscribe. We will do the same procedures from the text, we will add the movements, and from the movements, we will add the overlays. And from the overlays, we will add the sound effects. It's better if you set a different variation of animations for each and every word. By the way, shout out to my main man, Keith Hava. Please support his channel. You can check out this Mobile Legends gameplay and he uploads every once a week. Next, we put the subscribe text. Add the speed trace overlay. And then the whoosh sound effects. And the effects will also sound better if it is set different from the previous and the next one. So after we finish like and subscribe, right next we will add this bell overlay. And of course we will put the speed trace overlay. Again we must adjust all of the animations and overlays so that it would be synchronized. Just extend again the duration of the background and then the next one is the bell sound effects. Again we adjust the duration of each slide. And lastly we will add the final overlay. And then we can put dramatic sound effects for the overlay. And the icing to the cupcake. The background music of your intro. And after that, we're all done. And now, it's time to take a look at our finished product. 